season three, okay? Not one, not two, but three. And the first stop, of course, one of my favorites, one of my favorites, favorites, favorites. Sounds, Emma. man. Dupree Sounds. So, so, so. What up, man? Everything's up. Everything's everything up. is everything is Everything is Everything is a green light right yeah, now, right? Everything's a goal. Everything's everything is a goal. Is a goal. Yeah. It's going to be green light. Listen, we about, to, we about to talk that talk right now. We're about to tell the people what they want to hear, but let's start at the very beginning. You know, MB Tracks, I take everybody on a ride through your life. We're going to make stops. We're going to do what we got to do. We're going to get the answers that the people want. Now, Dupree Sounds. Who is Dupree Sounds? Where is this name from? Tell me about it. Dupree Sounds is just everybody. You know, he's, and that's where I think I was explaining to you like before I got everything started. Um, it's just... I, I used to find myself at some point, like I used to write so much, I've always written, I've always mm -hmm. written, you know. Mm -hmm. And then it was times they got to a point where like, I got myself around a particular group of friends and they became like, my immediate fan base. So I used to really like, throw performances. I used to write a song on Monday and have a house party fucking Wednesday night, Tuesday night. And I'll get everybody drunk, right. feeling all that nice shit, you know what I mean? And then after that, I'm like, yo, listen, before y'all go, I need you to hear something. I said, buddy, I started off with one song, then two songs, and then just mad different songs. And then it was like, yo, that's cool, but you know, I'm not really feeling that one for you. Mm -hmm. And by the, the energy, the type of person I am, I never take offense to things, you feel me? I understand that the key to growth is one, to adhere to the things that do, you know, almost like right. sugar to your ears, right. but also the salt to your ears. The things that you make, don't take it as salt. Take everything as a sugar, you feel me? And I saw the girl and I said, you know what? I just realized like I had a plethora of music just in me. I, I could develop anything. You feel me? Right. Like, my, my rap is just, it, it, it's complex, you know, it's deep. And, and that's why I got the sounds from it. It's just like, I'm, I'm at everything. I'm everywhere with this. Growing up, childhood, best style. We grew up same neighborhood. Like, y'all don't know the history right now. Like, this is fam right here. Like, this is literally family oh. right here. Elementary school together, high school together. Still friends to this day, but I've seen this. I watched this young man grow up from a boy to a man. And it's it's a great feeling, you know, us being here on this platform together and us being able to, to compliment each other. But growing up, um, what would you say childhood was like growing up? Um, honestly, I would say I really didn't have too much of a childhood. But my mom died when I was two, and my, my father died when I was nine. So, um, but I would really say that I really lost my father because I never really knew what it was like to have a mother. So anytime I got into my feelings about that situation, it was because of a, a sense of envy inside of me. Like I just, I used to have to consult like, well, why does he have this and that, you know? Mm -hmm. So it was just kind of like crazy for me. Um, I became an adult at times that I needed to become an adult, but I still maintain on like that kid inside me. I've always been like a funny kid. I've always like, I, I love the smiles. I love to make people smile so much, and I love the smile so much that, like, I still and that because I want to say I didn't have a child. I still had that, that that innocence inside of me. You know that that's uh, I pull up with my friends, and sometimes it ain't always about the Bring money. The light. You feel Bring me? The yeah, light. exactly. See the light. That's what it's about. It's not always about. It's about living. It's about you know just being that way. So you know, I'm still I'm still indirectly living that child, but still, but still, you know, I'm having fun. I'm doing, I'm being dead ass with the people I gotta be dead ass with. You feel me? The niggas that try to get me. So ha, I know you heard it. <laughs> As you, you know, should. It, it was crazy for me. I was raised with my grandmother. She was um she was pretty old so with certain things that she couldn't do too much. So I think that me being who I am and me maintaining like my structure mentally and spiritually is because uh, I took in the right things. I wanted Absolutely. to take in the right things. I, I, did, I knew what it was like to hurt so bad being short of two very important people that I never wanted somebody to even feel close to that. So I used to watch movies. I hate when people embarrass themselves because mm -hmm. it's like, Dude, come on, don't you feel that way? Right. Know, like, right. I was always that kid to talk to people that other people didn't talk to. Or I embraced. Hey, them. Line, like, uh, I, I loved it. You know, I loved it. And, you know, it was just like that. It, 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 and that's how it was. Now, I can remember. And I'm telling y'all, this is this is true story, like facts, right now. Oh boy. Terrence used to write poems and yeah. shit. Like he used to really, it be like, yo, Amy, yo, I need you to listen to this. Or mm -hmm. I wrote this last night. Yeah. Like from that stage, like was yeah. that a point? Like did you realize then that you wanted to really embark on music then, or was it just like a hobby? It was first. It was never a hobby. It was okay. never a hobby because. 
I fell in love with so, so many things in my life that I, when it came down to something that I knew that I was supposed to do, mm -hmm. which I want to say on the side is that I thank God more than anything for showing me what I want to do in life because to the people that don't know what they want to do in life, that's deeper than right. anything that's financially or physically that you're able to touch. Knowing what you want to do is such a gift. You understand? So to go back to the conversation is, it was never a hobby. I knew that I was supposed to be in some way of of, of, of speaking to people. So when you say music, it's, it's bigger than music because right. I, I want a platform to be able to deliver a message to people regardless. You know, if you took a beat off, what I'm saying to you is still important. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing, the type mm -hmm. of artist I am, it's not, it, beats don't really, would never make my music. Right. They would never make my music. I listen, I compliment beats, I, I speak to them, I build relationships with them, I do what they want me to do. You feel me? And that comes from just reading people in certain kind of ways. Yeah. The way I interact with people has helped out my music. It's like, if I haven't interacted with people so many different ways, I wouldn't have so many different stories from I come from multiple different perspectives when I write things because I actually engage with you. I really want to know how you feel. Why? Because I may need it one day. But you think you're talking to me about, like, it's right. not that I don't care. It's comforting to you, and I will give you the answers you need, but I'm going to use this, right. and I need it. You know, it's my ammo, my people, all my ammo. What you go through is what will make me real life. Is, you know? Real life. So amazing to me that as a consumer, I can listen to a record and be like, yo, that's exactly how I'm feeling right now. So it's a talent, or beyond a talent, it's a gift yeah. of artists yeah. to be able to express that and talk for yeah. us as a whole. It's a level of consciousness. It's, a, it's, a, it's honestly a level of consciousness. It's like, if you are conscious inside of society right now, this is why so many songs are so prolific, like artists, Absolutely. artists like Kendrick Lamar that hit certain kind of buttons mm -hmm. with, with political justice and everything. It's like, you, it's not because they're Kendrick Lamar. It's not. If you strip him of his name, if you strip him of his name, if you strip him of his title, he will forever be that essence, that that energy that is able to deliver a message about relevancy right. in the community and society and the world overall in a way that makes you drop your jaw. Exactly. You feel me? So it is again. Exactly. You know? What would you say is the first song? that made you fall in love with music? Oh, the first song that made me fall in love with music. Yo, you know, this is gonna blow down my mind. Like, I'm ready to hear this. I'm ready to hear this. <laughs> Honestly, that ass, it, it would be Elton John. Really? Yes, Elton John. Um, did he write Circle of Life? The Circle of Life. Yeah, Elton John, because once I identify that music can make a human being feel a particular way, because as a kid I used to see you dance to music, but I didn't know that you was actually feeling something. Exactly. It's a Once I grew up and I knew that, it, it didn't take what I was used to listening to. It took something that I wasn't used to listening to, but still felt like I was listening to what I used to. It made right. me feel that way. It's like, who the fuck made this? Like, this is right. the right. thing, right. you know what I'm saying? Now we in daddy mode. Oh, Congratulations. Thing. First thing that come to your mind anytime you think about your daughter. Oh my god. Everything. I can't it's it's, it's everything. Like she's everything to me, like everything. I can't it's indescribable. Right. It's, it's bigger than music, it's bigger than me, it's bigger than I had to consult my religion because I love my daughter so much. I had to really think like like should I really believe in anything more than her? Because mm -hmm. this is what I want to give my everything to. Like when I was told about God and religion, I had, I had, as every human being, I had small doubts in my oh, mind yes. and I grew to love God and I still love God as well, that to be clear. I love God yeah. still. But the minute I seen, the minute I laid eyes on my child, the minute I laid eyes on my, eyes on my child, I, I gave ultimate belief in my daughter because it was my opportunity to fix everything that I did wrong, but also Love that. master Love that. the things that I, I've always wanted to master that I just didn't have time because I was mastering something else. You know, it's, you know, even right now to this day, I push you to, 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 to just like shoot for her dreams, even if it's to come up the stairs right. and talk, you know, right. it's cool, you know. I do my lives, so all my friends feel me on Facebook. And she's sounds. such a cutie. I have my dude out there all the time, man. All the time. I come from that style. Yeah. You know, Brooklyn is the greats, you know, that you got so many different legends and so many different people that set the bar here. Mm -hmm. Now, as an artist and as the next mm -hmm. upcoming thing, what do you think your role is 
for the neighborhood, one for the culture, and just for the music. Ooh. Piece by piece is um, limitations. I want to show you that there's no limit to what you're supposed to be. Never make the image. Mm -hmm. Never let the image make mm -hmm. you. Because I find a lot of times they say, oh, well, if you come out with this, man, then you know, you can't, you can't really do this. It's like, I can come up with everything. Right. I can come up with everything. It's in, in the ultimate, and it is, it's lucrative. Yeah, it's, of course it's going to happen. If you put coke on this table right now, some man is going to find value <laughs> right. for that coke. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But that man will be no nothing. That dealer will be nothing without that coke. I understand my value, but if I'm, if I'm more than, I'm more than just that, you know what I'm saying? And I want people to know that if you are more than just that, don't limit yourself to, to a piece of paper. Don't limit yourself to a man that has an, an office or has a little bit more than what you have just because of where you at. You know, sometimes it may take you five years to get something that'll last forever. Right. For you to chase <laughs> something that's gonna look good for us right now. You feel me? Like, you know, we had, we had came When I told place. you this was one of my phases, this is one of took my phases. Cause my guy lot. knows what he's talking about. It, he really know what he's talking about. It takes a lot, man, it takes a lot. We Green light. Oh, green light. It's, well, you know how I started? My number one man, you know, King Matt Machiavelli. He, um, he heard my first song that mm -hmm. I did when I did my first session okay. out of Indiana. Okay. I came home. It was, I didn't have a family. I didn't even have friends like that crazy. Like, you know, I wasn't really out there. I was, mm -hmm. I was on the stoop a lot. You know, I don't mind to say I was on the stoop. I wore a backpack. I show love. Good kid. You know I mean, I don't mind at all. Good I mean, kid. But, you know, um, I came home and he, he was like the opposite of me. He took heed to me. And he was like, yo, listen, um, you know, I want to help you out with this. You feel me? I really feel like you got it. And I was going, making mad music. And then he was like, I was like, yo, I'm ready for a tape. I'm ready for this, I'm ready for that. He's like, yo, you're not ready. Trust me, ah, ah. And one thing I can respect more than anything is somebody who could be consistent with somebody who's not even there yet, but they can mm. see. They can mm. see what you're about to be. You hold know, on, this, hold on, hold on. If they not you. trying to build with you, yeah, that's a, they yeah. can't be chilling with yeah, you, man. Yeah, that's a fact, man. It wasn't, it wasn't even like the gliding. I'm gonna keep it 100. I, I, I pay homage to the people that I didn't have to show too much for them to be right. in front of you for me. And right. that was the best. Right. He's number one, you know. He, um, he put me in the booth a lot more out here. He held me together. You know, we, we went back and forth. He used to argue me all the time. I mentioned a lot of my music. He, 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 he molded me. For me into a lot. The same way with my cousins, the same with my family. You know, they people people said what they said, but he hit me in certain ways when it comes down to my craft. Mm -hmm. It was like it went from your music was so good that you be a dope artist. Now he's like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, this shit is so good. You need to keep this to yourself. Like, no disrespect to no labels, but like yo, right now, fuck a label, fuck all that, my nigga. You the type of dude that if you put enough crap, time behind this craft, couple shows, that's all yours. He was showing me, he was showing me people like Troy Ave, mm -hmm. Mitzi Hustle, mm -hmm. Jay-Z, like real people who who came in the game oh, and yes. the way Ryan Leslie helped yes. out Cassie. You know what I'm saying? Like certain things that people did that just like helped them keep what they had. And he broke down a lot of shit, how, you know, things with, with Sony and, and mm -hmm. the Beatles, who owns the Beatles music. Mm -hmm. It's like, yo, listen, this is your dream. You want people to own that? Nah, and I seen that. And I was like, you know what? Let's start a label. I said, fuck it. Like, fuck it. It's, it's not a group, my nigga. Like, let's start a label. Let's get, a, let's get our own label. Like, Oh, dude, we gotta go into it again. Mm -hmm. When he was like, "What you mean?" I said, "Listen, let's let's get our artists. Let's make our label." And he was like, "I bet." So what we gonna call it? You know, me and my deep ass. I'm gonna keep it on it. This gonna be red. The name before Green Light was supposed to be Odyssey. Mm -hmm. Odyssey, cause I love that. And I made a song called Odyssey. You know, and um, it was like, nah, it's too complex, man. You always gonna be so deep. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. And I was like, ah, you know, these my homie hood niggas. I'm keeping on hundred. Y'all hood niggas, bro. When y'all see this, I love y'all. They was hood niggas. They was like, nah, nigga, what? You gonna call it? Yeah, I was like, what? Green light, nigga. He was like, yeah, nigga, call it green light, nigga. I said, nah, I ain't calling no damn green. That's mad typical. I thought about it and I was like, nah, like. Green light, like I felt it. I know I slept on it. I ain't gonna slept on it. We rode with it. So I wanna know what is one. What are you turning on when you need some motivation music? Oh me, man, yeah. crazy, okay. free me, free me, okay. free me. Okay. I heard my boy just okay. got three, yeah. with two to three years. I yeah. so unfortunate. Me, yeah. I like that. Okay, emotional. <sighs> Jersey. <Jesse. laughs> Jersey, what you mean? Jersey going on with a double Thanks category. God. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. You're right. All right. Party, you gotta turn up. Future. Hey. There is so much yeah. style, bro. 
Then the day is mild, oh my. That's my shit. <laughs> oh, my all nice. right. Now, you're writing music. You're thinking music. Oh, right before I go into the booth? Mm -hmm. Me. Okay. Honestly, it's nothing that motivates. I, that's the overall I'll say that too. Nothing motivates me more than me because I don't listen to it the way I listen to everybody else. They completed theirs. Okay. You feel me? It's a certain level of. Satisfaction is a curse. And it's a certain level of incomplete that I love because it motivates me to get better. That's the reason why I feel like when it comes down to my writing too, I never stop because I just, I never feel satisfied. I need to work with people because if you need up with me, I'll never drop because I'm always getting better. Right. I'm always getting better. You know? Right. So, me. Right. All right, so we're gonna play a little game. Yes, it's called Final Four. Ooh. You know I love basketball. You know I love. You know I love basketball. Yeah. All right, so Final Four. So I'm asking four questions, yeah. and you gotta give me four answers to these four questions. Yeah. All right. So your Final Four. Your first four things that you have to give me is four things that you cannot live without. Four things I can't live without. Four things you can't live without. Oh, my daughter. <laughs> God. Mm -hmm. Me and my girl. Alright, <laughs> All right. that was a good one. That was a good one. Alright, next thing. Give me four musical influences that you would love to work with. All time musical influences. Whoever is your four musical influences that you would love to do a collaboration with? Oh my god. Oh man. Erica Badu. Mm. Bag of I know you're gonna die. Mm -hmm. cool. You're gonna die. <laughs> I would love to be on the stage with Elvis. What? <laughs> Elvis Presley <laughs> and James Brown. You know why? Because them yeah. are they're the perfect definitions of people who didn't give a fuck because their images Yo, they were so got iconic. Crazy you know with it. And then honestly, I would have to say a group. It would be the Beatles because okay. they were in depth with like different levels of sound and sonic at that time that we. Right now, we're just really getting into Travis Scott is Sonic. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when I listen to certain things, I dig deep. It's not just what you're saying. It's it's the it's it's what you're mixing it with. You feel me? And, and that's it. Give me four artists that you're listening to right now. Oh, hey Boogie. Okay. Meek Mill. Hey Boogie. I'm gonna go back to hey Boogie. Hey, yo, hey, hey Boogie. Boogie. Listen, that motherfucking album, dog. That shit was official, bro. That shit was official, bro. Money sprung. Money sprung. <laughs> <laughs> But now, nah, um, um, A Boogie, um, Meek Mill, you feel me? Uh, uh, that's how I'm, I'm, I'm very honest with you. That's all Sizzle. Oh, okay. Sizzle, Sizzle, Sizzle. Okay, I love Sizzle. Okay. She's amazing. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She's a real woman to me. You know, mm -hmm. I really like the album. The fact that even the, the concept of the whole album is just amazing. Um, one more. You just got one more. What I get, what I get right now. Oh, I mean, honestly, I'm keeping up with Drake. I, I always go back, like, like, I, I listen. Right, Drake is so consistent in my playlist. Drake and, and, and Big Sean. Last one. Hey. Four words. Describe me. Um, no, not to describe me, but four words that you use in your vocabulary to keep you going. Um. Positivity, honesty, yeah. um, pure, and I would say, I mean, but this is one word to me, green light. <laughs> green light, Go time. that's one word. <laughs> green light, you feel Go me? Time. Green light, like we that. stay honest, we stay pure. All right. You feel me, we just keep shit going, man. You know? So that wraps up the final four. You know, like the four is five. Fade five. Now, fade five is a little bit easier. All right? I'm going to give you five things. You just got to tell me what your favorite thing is for each day. All right. Okay? Yeah. Favorite movie? Ooh. Uh, favorite movie, favorite movie, favorite movie, favorite movie. Damn. <laughs> um, favorite movie, favorite movie, favorite movie, favorite movie. Give me like three seconds. Three seconds. Three. Avatar. Avatar? Yeah. Really? I love sci-fi. Oh, my I love God. Fantasy. This guy. I love fantasy. This guy with the I'm fantasy. I'm in a different world, yeah, I love it, man. I love it. I love life in different okay. forms. Okay. I love life. I'll give you that. Avatar, I'll give you that. Okay. Favorite TV show? Favorite TV show. I'm gonna watch TV too. TV show. But I mean, I love Power, but. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I 
see the show. Oh, I would say um, Team Umi Zumi, because that's what I watch my girl. Listen, hey, <laughs> Team Dakota, we here. Team yeah. Umi Zumi, shout out to y'all for me. Y'all get us ready for school every morning, you know. We Franklin, can say that, we Franklin. can say that. I mean, I, I drop off the daycare, I'll be in the bed laying down, and I'm you still. You be still be watching it? Like, oh, Frank can be wild. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but. Yeah. All right, all right. Favorite meal? What's your favorite meal? Meal? Oh, Sim. I love Sim. I love okay. Sim. Okay. Sim's amazing. Bake, grill, All kinds. smoke. I, I, I cook. So. Favorite quote? What would you say is your favorite quote? Favorite quote. Favorite quote. Jeez. Text favorite me quote. Favorite quote. Ain't no reason. Favorite quote. All right. Oh, man. It's kind of like a prayer, but I took the prayer out of it because I feel like I just wanted to be more to me. But um, I ask that whatever's not for me should not find me. Mm -hmm. Whatever is for me should present itself when need be. And that's it because sometimes you have to pray for the best for yourself, but you have to pray for the best at perfect timing because sometimes the best is not always presenting itself when it needs to be there. Last one. Favorite verse of yours. And, oh, that'd be my introduction. Okay. Man. Oh, wait, don't, don't even get into it. Yeah, right. yeah, well, yeah. We're going to get into that. That's my joy. We're going to get into that. Don't, don't worry about that. All right, we're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. That wraps up phase five. What is a perfect day for Dupree Sound? Perfect day? Perfect day. Oh. If you could make a perfect day from 12 to 12, what would be your perfect day? Studio. I'm in it from 12 to 12 and I'm in it. If management let me go, because they say I'll be overworking and I'll be like, listen, F y'all, because they don't such things overworking every second I'm away. I feel like right. I'm missing out on something. Right. But nah, I say, I, honestly, it's a studio. I'll be in it and I'll just be listening to uh, just a whole bunch of beats that, you know, that just didn't take me exactly where I want to be. I, you know, that's cool. cool uh, you know, I don't know silent because I really don't care about activity unless I'm creating it, you know, and that's it. It's in the studio, just doing what I gotta do. Back to the music. Yeah. Um, I heard a lot of your tracks, and I love that you, like you were just explaining earlier, your sound is you can kind of capture any kind of sound that you want to capture. Now, I see that you do a lot, of, and I love this about you, that you do your music by yourself. And I love that because it kind of, when an artist is molding themselves and then, you know, they're, they're coming up and this is the original, I like to hear the original sound of the artist. Like, you know, you have a feature or two, but I want to hear oh, yeah, how sound. you sound. So, are you looking for collaborations right mm. now? Are you more so of just working with yourself? It's a certain level of, of, of confidence and a certain level of serious that I need you to have behind your craft that whatever way you feel about me is pointless. What you feel about what you do, I have to see that before I can right. do anything. It doesn't matter if the song is good or bad because you, first of all, you come with it because it's not a game. This is, I will leave you. If you don't keep up, and I don't mean no disrespect, I'm not saying I don't mean no disrespect. And, and another way too is me letting you know I'm gonna give you my best, but understand my best may be detrimental to your music. So make sure I'm not being cocky, being right, confident, correct. because I believe in whatever you're gonna put in front of me to a level at in which I'm gonna give my best. Somebody's gonna love it. You know, somebody's gonna love it. And that's what I stick to. But I'm definitely looking for features. I'm definitely I'm looking for some of the best features. Um, I'm looking to, to definitely help uplift the people around me and the people that that want to be. Be around me, you know. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. You know, I'm looking forward to it a lot. Who are some artists that you would collaborate with, like I mean, right now? Well, I'm like, my songs. Well, or so. oh, both. Let's do one sign first and I then let's do sign. Um, definitely just off the gate, number one, my boy Saw Guard. He's like the hood DMX. Like, a lot of people, you know, they, they're against him, but they're against him because because of his stories and his clarity on things that people were fearful of talking. You know, they, they don't even have the artistry to even put it together the way he does, and he does an amazing job, you know. And I feel like, you know, the way he's at in the game is because of how others felt about him. And, you know, now it's like he don't give a fuck about it. Mm -hmm. He never give a fuck about it. He really don't give a fuck. He got people that don't give a fuck with him. So it's like, nigga, we don't give a fuck. Right. So it's like, right. we don't get this. That's one. I'm going to keep going. I say, my boy Sard, um, my homegirl, Rainy Von Chase, because of the game, I'm going to put you 
like this. She's she's about she's gonna blow. She's amazing. Like she is breathtaking. Breath out her voice, her, her diligence, the amount of effort and work she put. I wanna be around people who love her. Like that talent, talent gonna come. Anything I was some former CB cake boy at before I got here, I was telling them like, yo, success is like success is unmeasurable. As long as you keep moving, as long as you keep moving, you're always gonna succeed. I wanna be in a room with people like that. She's definitely one of them. She's never gonna stop. Never. And I need that. She'll probably keep me going. Anymore. So I not only wanna do the music well, but I wanna work with someone, put that out there. Mm-hmm. And then um, next, I would say um, my boy, um, Lono Bristol, I want you to get you him up. Okay. He has an amazing son. I actually have a feature with him now for work. He's an amazing artist coming up right now. Um, Bristol, definitely. Lono Bristol, go check him out. And um, also Bryson Tiller, he's an amazing artist. I feel like um, people shy a lot when they say things like, oh, you know, he's so low, he's so this, he's so that, but that. What he has actually will give me the energy to come exactly. out with. You feel me? It's, it's, exactly. I like subtle art. I love a subtle yeah. artist. I love a subtle artist. Because I, I can compliment it without overshadowing certain things like this. It's things like that, you know. And Meek Mill. I got some stories, Meek. You got stories, baby. You know, that's, that's, that's talk. <coughs> I'm chasing dreams, too. You know what I mean? I'm chasing dreams, too. Right. Man. Me and, and Top Boy. I'm going to say one last person. Chris Brown, definitely, man. He's a superstar. I want to... I want, I want I don't think that the reason why I want to do a song with Chris Brown is, as I, I made a comment, everybody else doing it, that's true. I, I hopefully they see what I see, that's what makes them want to do it. It's, it's, it's more to me if I get a uh, feature with Chris Brown, simply because you don't come across a lot of superstars. I don't know if y'all understand the definition of a superstar. Like Tell them what it is. Tell them what it is. Superstar is, have you ever had to <laughs> memorize a choreography, get it on key, understand marks on the stage, live All in one. <laughs> Oh, and, wait, and you're not going to the whole you're not pop locking, you back flipping, you front flipping, you doing certain kind of things, and then you singing on cue and hitting the notes. You feel me? And I just, you know, I, if this reaches him, I just want you to understand, like, yo, he, he's an amazing artist. He's got me through a lot of things when Definitely. I was a kid. That was the person I didn't mention, Chris Brown. Coming up, like my whole, all my relationship through high school, like it was Chris. Yo, I broke up with girls because Chris Brown came out with certain kind of songs. Like, what? Chris said it's over. Gotta go, ma. Gotta go. It's never the right time. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. You know, but then it was, you know, and then after that, school was back in session. Yo, and then I was ready to come oh back. Oh my then, you god. Know, but... First of all, what's the name of the mixtape? The Green Light Effect. Okay, Green Light Effect. The Green Light Effect. Green Light Effect. Yes. yes. I like that a lot. The I like green that. Effect. Effect. What can we expect from this mixing? A little bit of what you haven't had in a while okay. with a lot of what you have never had before. Mm. And the reason why I say that is because I've, I've been inspired by the things that have moved people so much, but they let go of because of the new movement, because of the new wave. I held on to that shit because I said, I, you know, if you wake up that old monster inside of somebody that had yeah. a like, yeah. And now it's like putting you in a box with that, you feel me? Yeah. And then as far as what you never had before is because I don't give a fuck what you listen to that I have. Like, you've never heard me. You've never heard me. It's not a lot like I, I took I took heed to that and I ain't even got nothing out there like that. I took heed to it because it gave me a clean slate. It gave me an opportunity to show you what I'm made of and all of show. what I right. want to show. I not honestly want to show you what I want to show you all of it because it's a lot. It made right. but I show you today and maybe if you interview me tomorrow, I'll probably be saying completely different shit. Right. Because it's a lot. You feel me? I got inside, but it, it, it's gonna be an amazing tape. It's, it's a lot of big ups. So I love representing. I love I putting love on. Love that. There's no other feeling in the world that, that you get from putting on. Putting on is is the best thing you can do, and that's that's the number one reason why it's because you love it. And I know that you love it, and I know a lot of people love that. And when people tend to do the things that people love a lot more in life, they become far more successful. Man down. Yeah. A segment on Amy Tracks where I give you two options, and you pick one. The other one is man down. You gotta go. You out of here. You got to go. So I'm only give you three things. Oh God. I'm only- <laughs> I ain't trying to go. I'm gonna only give you three things. I'm yeah. only give you three things. All right. So man down. Fame. Fortune. Oh. Um, fortune. The reason why is because the terminology don't mean to me what it means to anybody else. Fortune means a certain level of, um, of, of a major game. It can be money, it can be property, it can be people, it can be love. I'd rather fortune over fame. You'd rather 
intimate crowds or stadiums as far as like performing, performance wise? The reason why I always say the stadium is um, it's not being humble. I mean, not that I'm not being, you know, not being humble, but mm -hmm. it's that that intimate 30, you know, I'm gonna have in that stadium, I would. And the reason why is because I'm gonna make it into intimacy. To me, doesn't mean numbers. Intimacy means connection. Mm -hmm. And I think that with that stadium, it gives me a platform to allow the masses to actually connect with me on an intimate level. And you could say, what you want your legacy to be right now, what would that be? My legacy is, I want to leave behind that I was the kid that attained everything that I ever wanted because I never let go of what God gave me. If it's one thing you could tell the world about you, not about anything in particular, whatever you want to be, one thing you could tell the world, one thing that you want the world to know about the free sound, what is that one? I love my daughter more than I love anything on the face of this planet. And I really want you guys to understand that I will drop everything for that. Now we about to get into this music. Yeah. Let us know what we about to hear. Oh, all right, so cool. Look, my mixtape is the Green Light Effect. Yes. It's- Go time. It, it's, it's, yes, definitely, it's go time. Everything's a go. Um, it's, it's, it's big time, big ups to my homeboys. It's my, um, my intro. It's my team, it's about my team, it's about where we at, it's about everything we did to, to, to get here, all the shit we lost to get here. Um, watching, I done, we done watched a lot because we learned that we learned from watching and Ooh. we learned that we learned from learning and we never wanna stop learning. We are learners of life and we never yes. gonna stop doing that and that's what's gonna make yes. us better. Y'all niggas is sitting down. Yes. After y'all get one thing achieved, we sitting down thinking about the next what's thing. What's gonna happen next? And we working hard, you feel me? And we in good cake too. Talk about it. <laughs> Talk about it. That's Talk sad. about it. Talk to him, man. Turn back, right? Yo, too hot now. Green light effect. Pre sounds, man. Coming up. This is the intro right here. Don't get no better than this. Green light, right? Here. See the light. <laughs> sounds. Chess. Next, next level. See the light. Hey. We done seen a lot of teams headed to that top drop Focus on the top spot shines and them drop tops I'm just here to take the green light off the hot blocks Through them doors they told us that was locked Cause of who we not but just because we from the hard knocks We ain't got a knock baby Roadblock had us making hard stops baby But now I'm on the road all these rappers think they really got the glow But what's the sun to a nightlight baby Yeah I'll be going out to bring the cash back baby But tell me why you focus on them lab rats baby See they just trying to pound you like a hashtag baby When I just rather brand you get your cash cap crazy but y'all can blame Matt for signing off and all of this cocky shit. Yeah. Like if I kept up with this pace, how could I not get rich? Not get and if he trapping off the flip, why would it not get flipped? Not get all of that gang, gang, gang shit, why would it not get split? Gang, gang, it's all for one and one for all, boy, you know how we See roll. Mixtapes overdue, but you know that it's gold. Got a pocket full of flows, I never go never broke. Go. Four, five, never big nose, you'll never get close. Get close. Them niggas hating on my path because they can't walk hey, it. Hey. Old women wanting my time when it ain't oh, awkward. Yeah. Put them all in the same box, label out of shot. shot. But they just want to come back shot. like Ben they Gordon. You back. can't swim, you're going drown, so don't play in the water. Y'all just become who y'all around, y'all niggas is water. That's a disorder, you special, just get a check for that. Yeah. From my whereabouts to my bag, homie, don't check, don't for, check that. for that. And it's best style, if they asking where the mech at. Boy, I plan on not going diamond, where the pressure at? Young boy in the set, young boy going flex. Them OGs on the block like like young boy got next, it's oh, Clico yeah. on me And we gon' celebrate the fact that you done stepped into the light You know what green light you know mean, green know light that we all thin it Grab your wifey, I'm taking off with her Man, my future gon' have them all pippin' Man, my sauce gon' have them all sippin' If you love it, just come get lost in it Big ballin', you know what's all fit I seen the future, man, I seen it's bright I seen the stars and I seen the light A couple niggas really hatin' on the sideline Know they dying off, they in need of life Part of my distance, I mean, not getting involved. Uh, but if you was here to witness half of the shit that we lost, of all this glory that we got, and work by half of the cost. That's 100% of the reason why my niggas evolved. That's 200% of the reason why I keep them in charge. With Big Sav on the staff just to help it revolve. And I ain't never need no spotter when I'm raising the ball. When I'm faithful, the game plan might have me switch my cars. Met Gala in the year, man, I'll be dancing with stars. Spread the word around the light, they got me doing my job. Open up them closed doors, y'all niggas still getting the nod. As if y'all get through the guards, if y'all got that gift of the guard. Lifestyle coming large. Double X on the rail. Where well, I've been graduated, double X to the deal. If you ain't fucking with Saw, then you better be keeping the trail. If you don't fuck with the squad, then you better be keeping the chill. Put the chill. Chill. Uh, uh, put 
them niggas on chill. Put them niggas on chill. You heard it. See the light. You heard it. Yo, we not playing with y'all. We not playing. We not playing. It's not no game. We not playing with y'all, man. Ambi Track Season 3. First stop. My God. You heard it. It's one of my Free favorites. Sound. Free sound. Free light. Season 1. We coming. <laughs> and we coming. We coming. <laughs> we out of here, man. We out of here. No 